Hey, what is going on, Cancers? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. If you enjoy the content of the channel, join our community. Uh, we're all about the love here. We got so many great people. Um, you know, I've had this very fortunate opportunity to have met and talked to a lot of um, great people that have been with me. A lot have been with me from day one, and we keep getting new people all the time. Um, I see new friendships being made in the comments. You know, it, it's just nice to have someone to talk to sometimes. And, you know, I, I really appreciate all you, you know, commenting and, you know, the, the encouragement I see other people give in the comments is nice as well. You know, I, I've been fortunate not to have a lot of uh, trolly people. <laughs> um, you know, people being very supportive of each other and, and giving each other great advice. Um, I love to read the comments. So you got something to say put it down there you know if you see someone say something that they're going through that you may have gone through you know feel free to help them out I mean I want people to connect not just with me but with each other um, but with all that being said let's get it universe what is going on for cancers what message do we have for cancers All right, cancers. Yeah, I smiled a little bit when I was pulling cards because I don't talk about this much, but when I pull cards while I'm shuffling, I get a pretty vivid idea, you know, idea in my head. You know, I always get a good vibe from a good, what is going to be a good read. <coughs> this was no different. Um, then when I start pulling cards, uh, the images start coming, so hold on to your hat for this one. So the first thing I see is I feel like you have some, you have someone, let's just call it what it is. I feel like the one you've been waiting for is coming in, you know, and I, I know that's a bold prediction, but that's what I see. You know, I feel like what you've been waiting for is coming. You know, with that three of wands, that ship finally coming in, that person you've been waiting for. Um, you know, that person that you're going to share this incredibly deep connection with. And I feel like with this connection, it is going to be a lifelong connection. You know, a lifelong bond that you share with this person. You know, I, I, I feel like it starts off in a friendship. You know, I feel like you find it very easy to talk to this person, very easy to communicate with this person. You know, you can you can be fun with this person or you can be deep with this person. Either way, they match your energy. Um, very easy to talk to this person, feeling very comfortable with this person very quickly. You know, with this person... Like I said, feeling very comfortable very quickly. 
but also feeling like you can trust this person. You know, there's just something about them. And everything I'm saying is how they feel about you as well. You know, I feel like this person kind of started to lose hope. You know, I, I feel like they started to think that they were alone and they'd always be alone. And I feel like they felt like they'd never find anyone. They certainly didn't think they would find you. But when they did find you, you know, it, it all came, you know, it, it, all that negative thinking, all that feeling of being alone drifted off with that devil card. They, they're letting go of those, those, those negative thoughts. You know, they're, they're feeling like they finally found where they belong. And it's all happening very quickly. But that that does has no bearing on on the feelings. You know, it is what it is. You know, the world we have the world card. Everything came full circle. You found each other. You finally found each other. They don't feel alone anymore. They feel like they belong somewhere. And again, vice versa. You no, know, I feel like you've both been waiting. You've both been ready to find that person that you can love and be loved back. You know, very emotionally mature. Very much so ready to give your heart to the right person, the person that deserves it. And I feel like there's no better person than the person that's in front of you. You know, I feel like you were meant to meet each other. And like I said, you know, I feel like I feel like you think about each other when you're not around. You know, I, I feel like it's almost like it's almost like you can't wait to get back to each other. You know, I, I feel a very close connection and wanting to be around each other as much as possible. Like I said, I feel like you're both on the same page. You both want the same things. You know, I see a lot of form movement very quickly with this connection because of the fact that I feel like you're both at the same place. You know, this was not a chance meeting. This was meant to, you know, you were meant to meet this person. And why you're meant to meet them is becoming very, very clear. You know, you make each other happy. You fill each other's cups. You know, and, and, and one thing about the Nine of Cups that I always like to say is think of it as, you know, if you've ever been with someone and they, you know, they make you happy. Um, you know, from time to time, you know, you have these happy moments. Well, the Nine of Cups is someone that knows and understands you. And what they don't know and what they don't understand, they want to know. They, want to, they don't want to fill up a few of your cups. They want to fill them all up. You know, they want to put in what they're getting out. You know, this person authentically cares about you. And they want to see you happy. And you being happy makes them happy. You know, it, it's a very selfless energy with this person. Like I said, they're, they're ready to give it all. Because they want it all. You know, they're not, they're not expecting something they're not willing to give. You know, I feel like together, the two of you are stronger. Like I said, this person, what they don't understand, they want to understand. You know, and... Like I said, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. You know, some lighthearted conversations. But there's going to be moments when, when you need to be deep. And they're going to be deep with you. You know, this person knows... They've been where you've been. And neither one of you want to go back to that. There's no more lonely nights here. You don't have to go back to that. You have someone in front of you that wants to be with you. Um, they're very honest with you, very direct, uh, very nurturing, and very protective all in one. You know, like I said, filling up all your cups. You know, if you've been in a relationship before where you had a great sex life and you had great communication, but you didn't feel the love. Or you you were someone that you felt the love, but maybe the sex life wasn't great. Maybe the communication wasn't great. With this, you're getting all of it. And so much more. 
you know, like I said, with that protective and nurturing energy, um, this person, you know, what they don't understand about you, they're learning and they're always learning. The thing I love about these two cards is when you put them together, they make another picture. I love that. Uh, but the emperor and the empress, the king and the queen sitting side by side or king and king or queen and queen, whatever your situation is. You know, this is someone that shows up for you. This is someone that puts in the work because they see you, you know, like no one else has saw you. You know, with them, you're seen. And this person wants that future with you. They want to build that strong foundation. They took It took this long to find you. They're not going to want to let you go. You know, they don't want to be lonely anymore. They don't feel lonely with you. You know, this person will show up for you time and time again. And there may be moments when, when things get rough, but they're not going anywhere. They're here for you. You know, they want this as much as you do. You know, like I said, I see a lot of four movement. Uh, it's all about the love. You know, it starts at a place of love, a place of understanding. You know, that emotional fulfillment, uh, showing up for you, being there for you. And I mean, like I said, it starts off in a friendship. So I feel like not only is this that future lover, um, that future confidant, that, that shoulder you can you know, lean on uh, that rock, but it's also your best friend. Like I said, filling up all your cups. Uh, and I mean, you know, I, I feel like with this person, there's a little bit of fire in this person. And I feel like this, you know, very passionate, you know, and I feel like that just adds another, you know, dynamic to this connection. You know, it, it's... It's a very loyal energy with this person. Very, very, something that you feel like you can just trust them. You can trust in them. You know, they are there for you. And they understand there's going to be times when when there's nothing they can do but listen. And they'll be that if, if that's what they, if that's what you need. And the longer this goes on, which, like I said, I feel like this is a lifelong bond. I, I feel like this could be your person. You know, the one you've been waiting for. You know, that soulmate. And because of that, you know, this person's always going to be wanting to learn and, and evolve with you. You know, I see two souls merging into one here. You know, cancers are always so, so, so always taking care of someone else. It's nice to see someone that comes in and taking care of you. You know, taking care of each other. I enjoy that. I enjoy great reads. You know, and there's nothing negative about this read. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I, there's a little bit of fire in this person. I'm not going to lie to you. But I feel like that's just a different aspect. You know, I, I feel like, you know, this person may be a fire fire sun sign or at least they have some fire in their charts because there is some fire here but you know they just add that that's just that protective nature that that big old teddy bear you know take you know someone that shows up for you someone that puts in the work someone that takes you know takes things seriously like i said they're emotionally ready just like you are you know it, it is a long road to get here but we're here now it's time to celebrate. You don't have to be alone anymore. You're not going to be alone anymore. Like I said, from the moment they met you, they didn't feel lost and alone. And I feel like that, that's been kind of the narrative of, of their life for the last little while, if not ever. Um, sometimes it can get lonely. You know, sometimes, we, you know, none of us want to be alone. And some people say they want to be alone, but I don't believe that. But let's let's finish this. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, we have Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Taurus. Um, and what I mean by that is nobody wants to be alone. I don't believe that. 
that's just my opinion though i might be you know people might think i'm wrong but i don't think anybody wants to be alone i think some people just get sick of what entails of finding the right person you know they're getting sick of getting let down by people they trust they get sick of being hurt by people they trust or people that they depend on you know i i, I honestly i feel like if you said just those people that say you know i'm happy being alone i don't want anybody i think if you said to them listen i can if i can give you the person that was meant to be with you that will never hurt you that will always love you that will always show up for you are you going to say no to that and not many people are going to say no to that but there's no guarantees you know like that Pat Benatar, love is a battlefield, and sometimes it feels that way. But I feel like that there's always that one person, you know, that's that changes all those perspectives, that makes all that pain go away. You know, you can be in a hundred bad relationships and meet the right one, and then none of that matters anymore. Sometimes being with the wrong person is even lonelier than being alone. And that's... Sorry, I'm doing a gun show here. You know, I've been in a relationship years and years ago. I remember I was in probably... Just after high school, I was with this, with this girl and... Moved really too quickly. She ended up moving in with me because her parents kicked her out. And I just felt obligated to be in the relationship because she had nowhere to go. And but it felt lonely. Like it felt the it was one of the most lonely times ever. You know. And I I'm a, I'm a person that appreciates my solitude. Like there's moments when I just gotta reflect on with myself, self reflection. You know, um, my sister she's a cancer and. Me and her understand that about each other. Um, and a few of my cancer friends, I, I've come to learn. So I don't know if I have some cancer in me somewhere, but it, um, you know, I feel like it's, it's important to have someone that respects your solitude. You know, me and my partner, she's, there's moments when she wants to be alone. And I just respect that because I understand it. You know, and, and that's the thing. You know, you may meet someone that fulfills five of the ten qualities you want in a person, or six or seven or eight, but not, none of that compares when you find your ten of the ten. Or in this case, the nine of the, nine and a nine. You know, filling up all nine of your cups. You know, filling up all your cups, being there, being supportive, being understanding. You know, sometimes people can't help you with a problem. There's times in my life where I had problems nobody could help me with. You know, it was all on me. But what helped is having someone I could talk to about it. You know, saying it out loud. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes the worst place you can be is in your own head. Sometimes you don't need someone to fix the problems for you. But it is nice to have someone to bounce, bounce it off of. And someone that just understands it doesn't have to try to solve it for you, just listens. You know, sometimes it's just nice having that person. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.